Hi guys! So Camp NaNoWriMo is officially over. Um, yep, it's August 6th today and Camp NaNoWriMo happened in July. It happened, it came, it saw, it conquered and I lost but I won, if that makes any sense. My goal this year for Camp NaNoWriMo was to edit a hundred poems so those were the hundred poems that I wrote in April I uh, my goal is to edit all of them um, yeah edit them type them up but mainly to edit them like that was, that was the big thing I was like I'm going to edit these poems and they're going into a book so I had a hundred poems to edit and everything was going not so bad like things were going well you know I was thinking yeah I could do this the first few days I really didn't do anything um, I don't know why I just like blanked out and didn't do nothing and then one day I decided to actually finally start and I wrote I edited about 20 poems maybe 18 poems something like that so I edited quite a few and I was like oh yes I've got this I can finish this in a month um so yeah some more days went past and I hadn't done anything again and I decided to do a few more poems like maybe eight days later M meanwhile this is like past halfway the halfway mark already so I'm behind yeah so <laughs> So I edit them and I, I do end about another 20 poems. So I'm like at 40, I'm on a roll, I'm like, ah, man, this is so easy. It's really not that easy, but like it felt easier than coming up with the new poems, um, which for some reason I thought it wouldn't be. Actually, it was and it wasn't. Like writing them out again and then editing them kind of took longer, but happened faster because I was just editing. So um, yeah, either way, I, I was getting through them and I was like, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. No. I got to about 60 poems and then I realised that like I came to the end of my notebooks and I was like what is this? This makes no sense. And I'm like looking nothing. I checked my other notebook which is where I assumed the rest were and no. I bought three new notebooks for Nat Cam Nanoramo in April to write these poems and two of them I used to write the poems. However, moving back to London from Canada, I only took two of them and one of them was empty. So the rest of my um, poems, which is about 40 other poems, were in Canada still. And there was no way that my boyfriend could get them to me within, like, it was the last week. Uh, I was like, no. It's so funny because after he sent them to me anyways, because I felt I still really want to edit them um, and get them out of the way. So he sent them to me later and he said, he asked, he was about $10 to send them from Canada to London, um, to England. And he asked uh, the post office person, like, okay, my girlfriend really needs this. Like, what would it cost to do this in Express? And they said $80. For one, it's not even a big notebook. It's not even A5. It's like half of A5. It's like that big. It's like just that big. And and he sent me a pair of earrings too. Eighty dollars. Like <sighs> Canada. I don't understand you. Why are you so expensive, man? <laughs> Like to send, oh, I was like, please don't send any of my stuff, like nothing, don't send anything else. My boyfriend sent me the notebook and it's on his way, so I'm going to edit those when I get here. I have been editing, um, I've been writing up actually the poems that I edited. So I got up to 64, I think, or 67, 64, I think. So 64 was what I ended on um, for my Camp NaNoWriMo. And it's unfortunate because I would have probably done the, ah, the 100 like I was willing to just stay up and just like destroy 100 like the other 40 poems so I'm really bummed because I couldn't change by the time I realized I couldn't change my goal because you you can't after a certain point you can't change your goal so it really sucked because I couldn't edit the poems because they didn't exist anymore they weren't here and uh, like physically couldn't do anything about that um so I did win in the sense that I edited all the poems I could edit you know that were in my possession of the hundred um, and I edited a few others that weren't even in the original hundred as well just to try and like make up my numbers but yeah no so yeah I lost but I really won inside I felt there was some winning happening I, I did I did a big chunk of it and I've um, written up about 40 of them so I'm like I'm slow and steady like getting there it's really weird you know being productive and writing and doing things that you really like to do so yeah that's how my camp NaNoWriMo went it was um it was it was nice. I spent more days, um, less days, do working on it, 
and but doing more so I had big writing days and or big editing days you could call them and that was really nice and it's the first time I really sat down and tried to edit my poems because I'm usually like ah, it's good enough as it is but I really realized this is not true <laughs> at all some poems like the unicorns you know they're super epic you read them you're like hmm, who wrote this there's no way I wrote that <laughs> but then usually you know it's like what on earth was I drinking that day? <laughs> because it was strange. Yeah, some of it was really abstract and I don't even remember what it was about, but it's a really nice experience and I recommend it. If you do poetry, do you edit a lot? Do you, or you just like to get it down and be done with it and that's it? Like you think it's it should be in its purest form. Like I used to think that I still do about certain, certain bits of poetry, but for the most part, I think the editing just kind of tightens it up especially if you're working on a book like if you're trying to put it in a book you need to edit that's like it goes without saying because you need it all to kind of be coherent and streamlined and kind of work together and have the, uh, the same what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> genetics I want to say genetic but that's not what I'm saying like to all kind of look similar fit similar you get the word I'm going for I can't remember what I'm trying to say the book it's it's getting there slowly I'm thinking of maybe doing some zines um you know and like mini zines and then having the one big project part that I have but I don't know we'll see how everything goes when I finish editing everything and writing it up and see how things flow but yeah, I'm reading lots more poetry now, so if you guys have any suggestions of cool poetry books that you like, please write them below. Right now I'm reading Whiskey, Love and a Shovel by um, R.H. Sin. So, almost done with that, about halfway through, and then I'm going to go back to I Wrote This For You... I can't remember what it's called. The second I wrote this for you. I wrote this for you too? <laughs> I don't know. That's my update. That's my Camp Nano. It was great. How was your Camp Nano? Did you have a good time? Did you win? Did you lose? Was it a struggle? Was it not? Like, what did you write? Um, or what did you edit? And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do subscribe down below and join the community of author tubers and booktubers and writers and creative peoples. Yeah, because we're cool. I think we're cool. So I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.